Spillage Village. Oh, oh. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts of the Monoprice M212? Uh, well, Michael, Michael had the big ones, right? Yeah, I had the 215s, man. Yeah, Hobie said he was going to be making some smaller ones. So That's cool. Yeah. Are you going to get them? I haven't. I, they're not on the list cool. right now. I don't have a whole man. I'm so focused on the home theater tours and some other yeah, things. And the M wave, M wave, and so I've I've backed off a little bit on on getting. So a ton so let's of let's just compare what what we've okay. got in front of us since you know yeah, we all so, shop online. Eighteen hundred bucks. So uh, I would rock I would rock uh, the dual tens just because they they seem like they would fit in the same spot as a single sure. ten that I have. Yeah, right, it's just vertical, and I don't mind just like. You know, it fits. Yeah. You know? Okay. Well, you know. Yeah. We got a thousand so. watt amplifier, dual twelves, THX certified. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else we got here? Where is this? Uh, oh, hit that full fancy. specs tab up there. Full specs tab. Oh. So here's a quick a quick thing ah, that I noticed. You. Um, I think I did a comparison the dual twelves versus the the single THX thirteen mm -hmm. and the sixteen and. The interesting thing was that uh, those single ones that I just mentioned, the 13 and the 16, they go deeper, meaning like, it, I think it was like 16 hertz, mm -hmm. maybe even lower, 12 point, I don't know, one of the lower frequencies, like pretty low. It mm -hmm. played those frequencies louder than the dual 12s or the dual 10s. Mm -hmm. But everywhere above that, above 20 hertz, the dual drivers were louder, uh, mm -hmm. put out more SPL than the uh the 13 or the 16. And it, I mean isn't that just kind of the way things go, right? You have a smaller woofer, it's going to be faster. It's, you know, but it's not going to go as low. Like isn't doesn't that make sense? Yeah, but you, you I kind of just thought, you know, more surface area, larger enclosure that it would win, you know, hands down, but the other ones were actually playing a little deeper. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. It's an observation. Well, I mean, you know, well, actually, that makes sense. If the the other ones, the singles that are larger drivers, are gonna, yeah, yeah, they, you know, go lower. But the duals, if you have to move a lot of air, that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. You know, if your room is big and you have a lot of air to move, I think that I. So I, I think it would really be dependent on your on your room. I mean, these say twenty to two hundred, and the other um, ones are actually they have more power. I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the actually, yeah, right. This is only only a thousand watts. Yeah, they uh, were but massive, it's for two speakers, though. right? They were massive, so I don't. I didn't even get the chance to check out the sixteen. I checked out the thirteen. Michael, you checked out the thirteen. That thing was. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like the size of that thing. It's like it's a, unmanageable. It's, it's kind of like a PB sixteen in a way. I mean, it's just a big box, man. And then what, the, so what the, is well, all right? I'm I'm on SVS's SVS's site here. What are so they? That's the dual twelve. They have a dual ten also. That's less expensive. Right. Okay, so uh, PB3000, is that the same price? No. 3000 So That's a 12-inch. Okay, yeah. All right, so here we go. So here, so we have $1799 for dual 12s, right? Mm -hmm. Stop screen, share screen, share screen. Let's go to SVS. Right. SVS PB3000 is $1599. So oh. I think this is going to be the closest competitor, right? Um, where's it? Specs thing. Learn that from Mike. Yeah. <laughs> Click on specs, Chana. That's right, man. Be a lot easier. <laughs> uh, going down to 16 in standard mode, 18 yeah. in sealed mode. So a little bit less. Not like you can physically hear that kind of stuff. Uh, 6,000 watt. Or sorry, 600 watt amplifier. I think <laughs> that'd be big. <laughs> watts in. Um, Bigger my JTR. That's crazy. Watts. Oh, 2,500 watts. Oh, 800 continuous. 800 continuous. 2,500 yeah, so watts peak. Who even looks at? Come on, I, it. I think if I were to just guess, that a monolith is going to outperform a single one of these. I, I mean, so. that's Easily. it. So, that's what I mean. That's what monolith's known for, though, right? Mm -hmm. the value, like yeah, what value. you get, the bang for the buck is ridiculous. They don't have that SVS not app, super, not super fancy. Yeah. Okay. Here we here we go. SB four thousand. So C there we go. is the same price. Okay. Yeah. It's the exact same price, seventeen ninety nine. If we get to the, um, what is it? I wonder what the price on the PB four thousand is. Damn, yeah. five hundred dollars more. Oh, oh, oh. damn. Went, oh, you know what? It used to be twenty five. What are you looking at? Okay. Uh, is it? Can yeah, you see it on screen? Fine. Yeah, you can see it. That that's wow. Just to go from seal to ported. Oh, I guess they have. To, they probably have more materials with this box. It's a lot bigger, right? 
It's always been that way. Yeah. Yeah. When, I, when I reviewed it, I had the uh, SB three. Th- I'm sorry, the SB sixteens, and mm-hmm. they were two thousand at the time. This is like two Damn. years ago, and then twenty five hundred for the PB sixteens. Oh wow. Yeah, so yeah, because they they, they they have a lot more materials they got to put in that thing, right? And then I, I then maybe they also factor like shipping into the cost of the subwoofer because yeah, these things so. are are not like small and so. light. Oh.